Oh, so the monument's completely split in two, look. That's crazy. I wonder how many people are going to try and make it in here. Hostile dropping into the area. Watch the skies. Ugh. You idiot. I don't think Stone will be on this early. So, it's content day in Warzone, and Season 2 is finally upon us. I think we've all been desperately craving some new stuff in Warzone, and new stuff is exactly what we've got in this brand new update. There are two new weapons, the LC-10 SMG and the Farah 83 Assault Rifle, and just look at this reactive blueprint which you can unlock at level 95 in the Battle Pass. Players are also finding some new unreleased weapons for Modern Warfare in loot boxes around Verdansk. The Cold War attachments have finally been updated to do what they say they do, but I think I'll let J-God and True Game Data be the judge of that. Rather annoyingly though, it has been proven that the agency suppressor appears to be broken and it now reduces bullet velocity between 35 and 40% on the assault rifles and tactical rifles, which is similar to how it worked at the start of Season 1. And I've just found out that this also applies to the wrap suppressors on the Cold War sniper rifles as well, such as the Tundra and Pellington, which have also been nerfed by around minus 30%. This has to be an oversight, but honestly, who knows anymore? For now at least, I'd suggest that you run a flash guard on any of these weapons. Otherwise, you might just prefer using some of your old reliable Modern Warfare builds, seeing as the monolithic suppressor is unaffected. So the new Farah Assault Rifle is a lot of fun and feels to me like a direct competitor to the FFAR with a fast fire rate and high time to kill, though the recoil pattern does leave something to be desired, so definitely keep your engagements between close and medium range with this thing. But I've really enjoyed using this gun so far and this will definitely be the first weapon I max out, so keep an eye out for my recommended loadout in a video on the channel very soon. I haven't really spent much time with the LC-10 SMG, but to be honest, I wasn't really wowed by it when I first picked it up. It kind of feels like it pales in comparison to the MAC-10. But if the MAC-10 does receive a nerf in the future, then maybe this SMG will take its place. We'll have to wait and see. Fucking bitch! So, moving on to the new points of interest on Verdansk, we have of course got the Vodanoi ship, which has crashed into Verdansk between Port and Gulag prison. And inside the cargo hold of this ship are some new friends. And just as we expected, zombies have arrived in Verdansk, and they're not in a separate mode this time around. They are now AI controlled and you can find them in any of the Verdansk playlists including Plunder as part of the Outbreak event. And as you can see I had a lot of fun farming zombie kills with Big Bertha here. This is a great way to get started with some of those Outbreak challenges that's for sure. Now, the zombie waves are actually triggered by players using this terminal here, and there are more of these around Verdansk, but they seem to be inactive at this time. Which, by the sound of it, means that Verdansk is soon to be overrun by the undead. The first terminal can be found in Bunker 1, which is here at the construction area. You can easily get lost in this place, and there is lots of cool stuff to stop and look at, as well as plenty of loot. The next bunker is actually one that we visited before, but this time we don't need an access code, and the area at the back is now open with these ominous windows that seem to be hiding something. You can also find another zombie terminal here, so you can imagine how claustrophobic fighting off the zombie horde in this bunker could be. And the final bunker that we can access is located at military base, and the monument on the hill has now split in two, revealing a silo which you can drop into or climb in and out of using this ladder. There's not really much to see in this one, but once again, would you look at that? It's another zombie terminal. The lower level of Stadium is also no longer accessible, probably to improve performance with all of these new points of interest opening up. And something that I found over at Dam whilst I was exploring in Plunder is this dock over at Dam, which to my knowledge wasn't here before, right? It seems like a very small and random addition to make if the theories are true and Verdansk is supposedly getting nuked soon. The way I see things going down is that eventually all of these zombie terminals that I mentioned will soon be active and we'll have no choice but to leave Verdansk. And hopefully at this point, during the mid-season update, we'll maybe get a new map, as we are approaching the one-year anniversary of Warzone's release. So I can't help but think that this is all part of something much bigger. Let me know what you think is going on in the comments below. But with that said, I'm going to leave you now with some solo gameplay from my first ever match of Season 2 and the chaos that is the new shipwreck drop spot. But yeah, do make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I've got coming your way very soon for Season 2 of Warzone. And please, feel free to leave a like to help this video get recommended by YouTube's algorithm. It really helps the channel out and I would appreciate it greatly. I really would. I got up at 7am to make this video. Alright, thank you all for watching as always and I will catch you legends in the next one. This is a good circle for it, isn't it? Let's try. I don't know how soon people are going to be jumping, so maybe we... Well, actually, I can't grab a heli. Let's get my trajectory right. There we go. Looking good. Look at these size strafers. <laughs> oh, God. People love a new spot to drop, don't they? They really do love it. All right, here we go. There I look back. Oh, my God. I looked back. <laughs> Cold War MP5. Let's do it. Feels bad. Someone died here. Oh. 
Someone else died here. Zombies incoming. Okay, that's cool, but what does it mean? There are shots everywhere. Can I get up here? Oh, Jesus. Good job he was low. This thing rips, dude. I like it. Oh. oh. I thought I'd done full damage there. I had no idea I was coming. I'm not designed for mornings. I haven't been up this early in a long time. Oh! I was looking at the time on my second screen. Jeez, that woke me up. <laughs> what is going on? Who needs caffeine? Jesus. Eight kills already. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, maybe I should play at 7 a.m. more often. This is mad. Are the shots inside or out? Hmm. Oh. Is that intended for me? I don't know. This is wild, man. Feels like I'm playing a multiplayer map. It's supposed to be an open world battle royale experience. Haven't left this ship yet. There's a guy right up there. What a madman. See if I can get over to him. Popping daddy. You can still hear my steps pretty clearly. Yep. He didn't hear me though. That's the important thing. Enemy dropping into the AO. Oh they are, are they? But where? Where art thou? Haven't even seen the zombies yet. It's my first game. I did see a zombie when I looked in the mirror for the first time this morning though. I'll tell you that much. Jeez. Oh, come on. That's a shame. Now I really am a zombie. Oh yeah, he beat me. That Cold War MP5 took us far, didn't it? Very impressive. Maybe I should have just gone lower level. Ten kills that early into the match, though, is pretty crazy, right? I don't know if it's a it's the best idea to go back there immediately. That was a nice little segment of gameplay, though. Hi, bud. You're up next, mate. Get ready. Is the game going to make us fight now? Just remember, they'll never tear us apart. Oh, I think it's actually him that I'm fighting. You're up, soldier. Now go sort this it is. Out. I saw the red paint on him. No. My one true love. Okay, yeah, I've spawned. <laughs> I've spawned quite some distance away from where I started, but hopefully I can get my loadout soonish. And, uh, yeah, try and, try and win this game, I guess. And that is what we were waiting for. Oh, perfect. Look at that. Gives us the high ground as well. Got gas inbound. Let's try this, uh, Farrah, shall we? There's a truck coming my way. Um, I don't know if the suppressor's broken on it or not. Got a suppressor on my LW3. Is he using the zip? He is. Wait for it. Ah, <laughs> oh, good. Ah, oh, good. Run from it. Hide from it. Destiny still arrives. 
Alright, let's get a self res from here. And then head into zone. There's another vehicle driving on the road there, but... No chance I'm catching up. Cool. There's a guy. On that red roof. Oh, that was clean. I can drive. It's kind of annoying, though. This has got self res. I'll try and get on this roof, but there might be someone up there ready to kill me. I'll try and cut him off here. I'm ahead of him, so. I feel like I'm really straining my voice today. Probably the coffee. <laughs> Enemy UAV overhead. Don't often drink it. Enemy UAV overhead. You've got gas moving in. Hmm. That's not good. Did he not see me? Yeah, what the F, dude? Oh, who did that? They put a cluster right on my vehicle. No. Not Mr. Truck. This zone might ruin me. I gotta move now. Gas mask would have come in clutch there, but we're good. Got a satchel out of it. And this game could have ended totally differently if I just stayed at the ship and not been killed when I was. Went from like the most fast paced start to just barely any action. This zone is so close to the ship as well. I would have been in walking distance if I just. Oh. Get wrecked. How that cluster's gonna do anything, but this is loader two zero. Good copy. Enemy UAV over Onwards we go. This isn't good for me. Not in a good spot, and I can't get to a building right now. Quad. Jesus, what were you doing? Ballsy. Just switched seat and started gunning at me from the back. Respect it. This is where I die. Oh god, that's not good for me. I hit X to slide instead of C. Have an ammo box on me. Less than ten was still standing. That's that's annoying. Look at this dude. <sighs> Can't believe you went for an assassination there. That's crazy. Great. Well, there's my first game playing on uh, season two, but um, that's not a terrible game, you know. Just an insane start, but just couldn't finish it really. Started on a high, ended on a bit of a low, but good game. I'm back in. Leave him alone, you bully. That's yeah, not very nice, is it? Not very nice, is it? Yeah, that's what I thought. If you choose to beam, you get beamed. Fuck! 